There are five and a half million kids who die every year due to lack of access to basic medical products. And I think we've been pretending for a hundred years that that's like somehow okay. We're working on nuclear fusion and augmented reality, but there's no way we could deliver a basic product or something as simple as blood when their kid or when their wife or their husband is depending with their lives on it. An opportunity for us to be able to bring our blood in areas that are very difficult to handle. When there's conflict, uh, we're going to be able to uh, position it, especially in Sulu or Basilan. Music's my passion, but actually zipline is where all my other passions come together, which is the idea that commerce should serve people, not people serve commerce. The idea that the brightest minds shine even brighter when they work for the vulnerable lives. You know, I, I, I would consider myself a, a, a volunteer too, like Senator Gordon. This is, a, this is an extraordinary man sitting there. And all the, the, the volunteers, the Red Cross volunteers sitting outside. So here's to volunteerism. A lot of people were telling us for those first few years as we started developing the technology that this was a bad idea, it would never work. Is completely insane. There is no way that any government partner or someone like the Red Cross would ever take a risk on Zipline to try to do this. Um, and luckily, we basically just ignored them and we listened to visionaries like Senator Gordon who are willing to try something new if it gives us an opportunity to save lives. Thank you to Senator Gordon uh, for believing in Zipline and more importantly, all of the incredible work that the Philippine Red Cross does to, uh, across the country. So I'm excited and I thank all of you for being here to celebrate this great new partnership and for welcoming Zipline so warmly to the Philippines. I am really looking forward to this partnership. It's not just about Zipline, but we're going to have to make sure that our engagement in helping alleviate human suffering in this country is enhanced by the participation here of Lord Bono and uh, certainly Keller and certainly the Ambassador. I just want to thank all of you here and I hope that you'll continue to help the Philippine Red Cross.